Hey everyone, welcome back to Remember This Tech. I'm going to be testing the Raspberry Pi 5 4 gig again. In this video, I'm going to be using um, SanDisk Extreme micro SD card. And I have flashed the Ubuntu 23.10 uh, OS for Raspberry Pi on here with Bolena Etcher and preloaded it. So we're gonna go through the quick setup. Then we're gonna explore the desktop, see what's on it, what comes with it, and maybe test a few games and see how they do. And without further ado, let's get right into this. Let's go, come on. So the initial setup is started and it's ge generally the same no matter what you do for the setup for Ubuntu. Choose your language, choose your keyboard setup, connect to some uh, Wi-Fi if you want. If you are connected to the internet then you are, you know, feel free to go ahead and connect that as well at the time you're doing it. For this initial setup, I'm hardwiring it into the Ethernet port, gigabit Ethernet. If it needs to pull down downloads, then we're going to be able to do it fast. And uh, I'm going to choose a password here. Standard setup, you know. I just think that the Ubuntu distribution from Ubuntu for Raspberry Pi might be a lot better because typically in the past they have been more well rounded and more feature filled. I mean, that setup, you know, in configuration. So let's log in. All right, it gives the option to connect your online accounts. That's interesting, that's cool, I guess. Um, send information, no, not really. So look at this, um, app center to install cool applications. Yes, I wanna install games, yes. You know, I jumped right into the apps, why not? Uh, so we want to go right to the games. I didn't have great luck playing like Warzone or OpenRA on the Orange Pi 5. And I know that's a powerful machine, but can I play it here? I mean, maybe, I mean. And you know, I tried OpenRA, which is Red Alert, and I tried to do it before, but it wasn't working, couldn't work. So let's give those two a try. And let's look around here. There's some Zenotic. Can you, can we play that? Can we install it? I mean, it's hard to say. Usually it was like a bigger pain in the butt to install it on Orange Pi, but maybe this will let me. Maybe it will. Maybe this version's compiled since it was published on October fifteenth, twenty twenty-three. Maybe it's compiled and installs it easier. So let's do that. So let's give it a bit. Let's let it go ahead and uh, download those. But let's take a look at what comes pre-installed uh, with our system. You have Firefox and the Thunderbird Mail. You got your file system browser here, which is you know standard. All your stuff at a quick glance. Documents, music, pictures. Library Office. So you got what would appear to be a full Office suite, hopefully. And those are just like your quick links and there's your trash can. And then your app center. You can see you got like multiple desktops here. So what we have is your calendar, some solitaire, drivers in case things aren't quite tweaked or you need to set that up. Calculator, looks like a LibreOffice, LibreOffice. Oh yeah, well. I think it is. Everybody needs an office suite. No, we don't want to save. And it's pretty snappy. What else? System monitor. Let's see what the system's doing. CPUs. You know, I think this is pretty good to have. I mean. Okay, so we're using one and a half gig, 1.4 gig of the four gig of memory that's on the system. CPUs, you know, some of them are getting a little pegged, but I think that's from when I opened up the application, so. CPU 2 is getting a little bit hammered. It's probably the one that's taking the downloads. CPU 4 too. 
network from downloading the games. It's probably done though. File system. So with those couple gig worth of games of the 128 gig flash card, we've got after that 109 available of the card. So plenty of space on a 128 gig card. Uh, for utilities, you got discs. And I think with the disc tool, you can use a speed test analyzer um, right here and built in should be a speed test. So let's see right here, benchmark. So this is a cool thing about it. And let's start it right now. So let's do the default. Supposed to get uh, 109, well, 160 read on this, but it's achieving half of that, which isn't great. Um, but it doesn't make any sense unless the card reader just can't read that. Let's carry on. That was a abysmal result. Some settings, you can tweak your settings for your system and this is where you have your Wi-Fi and desktop, Bluetooth, in case you want to set up your Bluetooth devices to it, keyboard and mouse, maybe even a printer apps. Another section you can uh, do your files and apps and set your time and date. And let's carry on. We won't take too much of this time, but as you can see, the games, all six games are already installed. The internet connection is blazing fast on this little device. Software updates. I always run this if you have to because you should do that before you go ahead and do updates, games, whatever. Just As with any fresh installation, you're going to have your base image and then obviously there's updates that come out after that image is compiled and put up there. So check your updates, see if there's anything to pull down which there usually is, and most of the time that includes security patches or, you know, software updates, whatever, software applications. So it'll take a little bit. We'll be back to exploring this the operating system for Ubuntu for Raspberry Pi 5. Well, let's see if we can actually play the game. It seems like I janky kind of mouse. The little heat sink on the uh, Raspberry Pi 5 is getting pretty hot. Uh, I don't know what is going on, but I think I gotta dump this thing and start it over again. Uh, CPUs are all pegged, maxed. It's using three gig of the system memory, but it's fine because we got overhead. The game's kind of locked up, so I think we're gonna have to kill it. And let's try launching it one more time. I, I, I'm assuming that there's gonna be some tweaks we can do with the CPU, maybe some overclocking. But what really irritates me is that it ran great on the Orange Pi 5. Maybe that was well, after I tweaked the system a bit. We're gonna try this deathmatch in a bit here. I really don't think it's gonna work very well though, personally. Trying to join, but the mouse is not moving. All right, this is a slideshow. This is unplayable. I mean, how can it be this horrible? Graphics look great as a slideshow. Other than that, it's junk. I gotta end this. This is junk, man. I mean, I can't even move the mouse. It's so 
janky and laggy. It's just a joke, man. I can't even quit the game. I hate it so much. This thing needs to be tweaked and optimized. I thought this thing had power. Okay, I'm going to try to install the LM sensors for the temperature, so. Sixty-five Celsius, and I'm sure it can go a little hotter there as far as what the device can take or not. But all right, so it's not technically thermal throttling at 65C. But it's supposed to thermal throttle at 80C. It just can't run this game, okay? It can't run this piece of junk. We're gonna take a break because this little thing is not running anything. So my final thoughts on the Raspberry Pi 5 and Ubuntu. The Ubuntu 2310 is pretty nice and it's snappy and it has tons of software in the install. And if you just want to do a bit of web browsing, maybe YouTube watching or, you know, maybe word editing through LibreOffice, Libre you'd be fine with that. But if you're trying to push it and play games like Xenotic, like I did, or the Red Alert knockoffs, it's not quite able to do that at all. Now, the built-in games that it comes with, yeah, you can play those. Those are tweaked and they're small. They're like really low resolution. I think that over time that you're gonna see better and better tweaked and released drivers for the GPU on this system and the operating system will get fine-tuned. But those games are just slideshows we tested in this video. So thanks for watching. Remember this tech.